Hello students, uh, this discussion is going to be about ion channels. Uh, we, have, we have seen these ion channels already. We saw them in uh, creating the rusty membrane potential where we had the leaky sodium potassium channels. We also saw them when uh, we created the, uh, the action potential. In that case, we had the voltage gated channels and the uh, sodium, sodium gates would open and sodium would rush in and that would give us depolarization and the sodium gates would close, the potassium gates would open and potassium would rush out and that would give us repolarization. So I just want to review those really quickly. Again, one, we have the leaky channels. And these are the leaky channels that we saw that uh, were involved in establishing the, the resting membrane potential. These were the channels that they're always open, and sodium is always leaking in slowly. Potassium is always leaking out quickly. And that gives us a resting membrane potential, which, as you'll remember, is around minus 70 millivolts. And then we have the uh, graded potentials. And the ones that we've talked quite a bit about, we have especially talked about these voltage-gated channels. And these voltage-gated channels, these are the sodium and potassium gates that open and close to create the action potential, to create the electrical impulse uh, that moves down uh, the axon of the neuron. And again, they're responsive to changes in voltage. We also have uh, chemically-gated channels. And these are channels that we're about to talk about. And chemically-gated channels they open and close in response to a specific neurotransmitter. If we t take a look at their illustrations, here is a, here is a chemically gated channel, and uh, it's closed. It has, uh, the chemically gated channel is linked to a receptor area. Here is a neurotransmitter. The neurotransmitter binds to the, uh, binds to the, the neurotransmitter receptor. And that opens a, a gate that allows uh, uh, the movement of sodium and potassium. These are the channels that will open. These are the channels that will open and are activated uh, in response to a neurotransmitter that create the EPSPs and the IPSPs that will eventually lead to an action potential. Now here, here are the voltage-gated channels. These are the channels that are found uh, throughout the axon. These are the channels, the sodium and potassium gates, that will open and close and cause a, a, a switch in the voltage and will actually create the action potential. Notice that these chemically gated channels, they will be found in the dendrites in the cell body of the neuron because that's where the neurotransmitter will bind. And then the voltage gated channels, they'll be found in the, uh, along the neuron's axon, axon where the action potential is going to be traveling. Thank you.